Joe Mix. Thank you so much, folks. I'd like to talk about something right now that's, uh, you know, it's it's sort of a fall and Christmas theme that I think some folks out there can relate to. It's uh, the topic of pumpkin spice. We love it, we hate it. There's not a single person in this room whose life is not affected one way or another <laughs> by pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice! So, I thought it deserved a poem. <clears throat> It's autumn, and I'm smiling. The leaves are turning red. The air is getting crispy. The rakes are leaving the shed. And there is one ingredient that makes it paradise. Everybody loves the pumpkin spice. After Halloween, all the candy is on sale. I eat it by the handful and buy it by the pail. And with every chocolate breakfast, I pour over some ice a beverage that's made from pumpkin spice. Time to carve the turkey. The spread is looking nice, but I notice half the side dishes are made from pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pies are baking, and there's even pumpkin rice. There is such a thing as too much pumpkin spice. It's early December now, and you can't drive anywhere. Carols are all stuck in my head and tape stuck in my hair. And what gets advertised much more than any other merchandise? You guessed it. Anything with pumpkin spice. Christmas Eve is finally here and warm is my heart. But there's no normal coffee in any mini-mart. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, nothing stirred, not even mice. I stirred my coffee flavored with pumpkin spice. <laughs> well, New Year's Day, the last piece of pumpkin pie was savored, and I began my search for anything not pumpkin flavored. All the candy on the shelves was marked down to half price, but all of it was labeled pumpkin spice. <laughs> 